This guy's about to drop his mixtape. The end. Wait, wait a minute, what? Wait, he's not a trainer? Well, okay then. Oh well. Never mind, about me he isn't a trainer, so there's no point talking to him. This guy is though. Why have you got a blue moustache? Yeah, because all children play by walking. Swim the female tear. Hm. Alright then, you got an old tower, that's fine. Oh. Now look at me pressing the wrong button, Jesus Christ. Fine, I'll do it. Well, okay then. <laughs> God damn it, why can't this thing be good? This is what's going to Zapdos then. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get. So, it's like I've said a, uh, quite a few times, I used to keep mistaking uh, Z and X because they're different on the Disney and May, they actually kind of swapped around on Disney and May. Like on, vi on Visual Boy, it's basically Z is A, X is B, and it's completely vice versa on Desmume. So that's kind of confusing. I can see that you're serious. Give me your money. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Ah, here's the guy's out of his mixtape. I mean, the CEO always spoiling for a good fight. Wait, what? Did you say they're spoiling for something in a minute? Fisher Christie. <laughs> oh, 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 look, look, it's a poly, it's a poly bag, yeah. no. Oh no, I absolutely, most definitely cannot kill a polywag. Watch this tackle do like one, like one damage or something. Wow. Now, I'm starting to think the slow bro wasn't really uh, helping very much. You don't do a shit right now. As soon as I say that, I guess I could. Well, I suppose that's short the time we have to uh, face this stupid little polywag here. Look at his eyes! He looks like he's proper serious about killing us. Oh, well, actually, I find a little confusion, that's better. I almost forgot about that, it doesn't give you that much time to like choose which move because <laughs> it just pops up. I remember I did quite a bit once on, on the game and then like I accidentally deleted Earthquake for like god knows what so I had to load the file and do all that shit again but it was worth it to keep Earthquake, damn it. Confusion is basically like the best psychic time if you're doing a power lock. It might be, I don't know. Because obviously in a power lock you can't use psychic because that's got higher power than 60. I think it's 60 that you have to cap out, I'm sure. Why are you here? Are you just going to get. to gawk? Okay, I suggest that you leave. Make me. Come on, bitch, make me. Wow, look at you. <laughs> Bug catcher Kate. That that's 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 definitely a bug. Yeah, definitely. It's a bloody pitchy. That's not a bug. I bet if I randomize the trains, you'd be like, here, let me just send out my ho. -o. It's like it's like um if you watch, if you watch like Game Boy Luke, you will know what what like horrible luck he has, because like the train is having all these legendaries. It's like, all right, we're gonna do a, a let's play of this game, and then just like five minutes later, it's like, hey, you just got that thing, yeah, go Mewtwo. But then again, Mewtwo isn't really a threat that early in the game, because it only has Swift. It doesn't even have any stab moves. 
Mewtwo really becomes a threat when it gets confusion. Boom. What I know, what oh, I can't get the buns mixed up. That's a real issue, what the hell? Bam. Classic sound effects. I like how Yobo can't even one-shot Pidgeys. I mean, granted they are one level below me, but still the Pidgeys! I was going to say this thing would be, um... Actually, uh, Yobo is good for the gym. For the knob. But then again, so is Thunderbird, so... I probably should have done some grinding, actually, between episodes. But I didn't, because I'm lazy, so... There we go. 21. Pidgey, okay. Let's -a go. Let's -a kill a Pidgey. I like how this guy is, hey, I'm gonna beat you, I suggest you leave, and I just like destroy all of his Pokemon. Yeah, maybe maybe he's doing like a Pidgey out solo one or something, and just waiting for these guys to evolve. Where everything except that one I just killed, they all should have evolved by now, because they're all like above level 18. I traveled the world to train my Pokemon. I wish to battle with you. You see, this guy's not like, oh, get the fuck out, this is mine. Except when people are that rude to you. It's like, it's like those punks in the Lost Hotel on X and Y. Like, I was, like, when I went there, I was wearing the nicest clothes that you can get outside of Lumio City. And they were like, oh, you need to clean yourself up. I was like, well, look at you! Hey, you've got no style. Look at you, white. What are you wearing? <laughs> I don't even know what it was they were wearing. Bloody hypocrites. You gotta have trouble with them sometimes, eh? I like how he sends out a Growlithe and I'm like, oh, but he used Confusion, even though I've clearly got Waddle and that would be the better option. I, I did it again! Oh well. Ah, alright then. So I got Mappy Wife. God damn it, okay, never mind. <laughs> Catch his peck. Yeah, the pain. <laughs> Actually killed him as well. I was expecting it to survive on one health, because that's what Pokemon always do when I'm fighting them. They also have one health, unless I'm trying to catch it. They'll die instantly. <laughs> that was got a crit. Jasmine is the gym leader. I mean to bring her back with me. Nobody ever to get in my way! I mean, you're not gonna bring her back with you, if you're heading the completely wrong direction. Jesus. Okay, Lady Anne has a mowl. What's a mowl? Well, that sound effect, well. I think I ever heard that sound effect before. Well, that works, I suppose. Roll out. Nah, man, you gotta go. Sc oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta go, and then it's like, get a crit properly, just kill it. Straight up. Ack! Right, anybody who would be worried if his or her own Pokemon were hurt, I'll pray for the Pokemon here so Jasmine can come back to the gym. That probably won't work, I don't know, it depends. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. Fisher Dudley. Hey, hey, aha, I found one. <laughs> Which Dudley is it now? Hey Bubba, is that you? Alright. I don't know why, but as of late, like, I face Krabbies or something. Every time these fights come, I was just so much damage there, I don't know why. Like, any time anything uses Vice Grip, it always does loads of damage to me, and it's just kinda... I'm always wondering why. Why does it do that? Like,
I only have 10 confusions left. What's with one owl? Then I'll just send in Matthew White, it's fine. And she is a bit training. I think I'll do, um. As I said, I probably won't need to, but a little bit of uh, grinding off screen because. I don't know, I think level 30 is probably a good cap. So at least go for the gym leader, that's anyway. I, I got, like, absolutely mollywops by Chuck many times in our gold, so... Hello there, person. We're pretty high up here. My bird Pokemon are in prime form. Yeah, okay, yeah, alright. What do you got? They're all bug catchers, so... Spearow? Oh, well, that's, that's different, I suppose. That's different. Well, okay, sure. I guess we're doing this. Wow, alright. Good thing I got super potions last time. Hey. <laughs> well, there's odd menu spice of the Pokemon as well. It's like, <laughs> that slow burst out there, like, something with massive eyes. I actually, I actually, um, looked up something earlier, well, I was looking it up yesterday, that cute charm glitch on Gen 4, where you have to have, like, proper ID, secret ID, and all that, and you can find shine is, like, proper easy, uh, it's kind of OP, I mean, sure, they're semi-legit, I suppose, but, I mean, who wants to find, like, six billion shiny geodudes in a minute, like, I don't know. Like, the um, q Champ glitch is basically just, like, it, it's almost like you've got two shiny charms or something. It's that OP. Like, that video I saw, that guy found a shiny and then in, he got another shiny straight after it. So, yeah. And then this episode, in this episode, it showed the box of, like, seven shiny Geodudes. I was like, wow, that's, uh, that's a bit OP, isn't it? Okay, again with the... Ugh. Almost annoying as that sound. But I hear at college every day. Oops, they crashed. Boy! Is there anything down here? Yes, there is. TM43, okay. Gee, I wonder what that is. Vital. Oh, come on! But literally none of these are useful to me. Apart from maybe Bone Club. Like if I catch like a Malawak or something. No. Shit. Alright. That's better. Alright, might as well switch Matthew Wife up front because Yobo is running out of uh, confusions. There shouldn't be that many trainers left anyway. I think I'll do the top. The good thing is, all these trains actually require battles and you can't skip them. Oh, quick car. That'll come in handy. I suppose. Maybe. What the hell? Did I go the wrong way or something? Wait a minute. Where am I gonna go exactly? Now, if I go back down here, you'll notice it says there's no way down. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, I thought they were just textures, alright. Alright, we well, fought these guys. Why well, do I get the feeling this is like, um... This is like the, um... What is it? The Sky Pillar in, um... Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald. They have to, like, fall down at the exact right place. For it to work. Uh, uh, oh well, I suppose. So that's alright for now. Alright, so we've got Polywell versus Nidorina. Let's do it. I almost said Nidorina, no, I always do that. But I'm more used to using Nidoking when I am Nidoqueen, I don't think so. This is actually my first time using Nidoqueen, so. A 
Quit. It's a quit. Slap. Yeah, why? It's called double slap, yet it hits more than more than twice. Like, I don't get it. It's not exactly a double slap, is it? I mean, let's be honest. That's probably going to be the title of this video, actually. Double slap, and the word double is in like. I don't know, like block capitals or something. Let's find something more useful. I don't know, I always like to like base the title on the episode, I guess. If I can get any jokes in there, I will. <laughs> Max Potion. Okay, I think we're heading the right way now. Hello there. I wanted to put a Jasmine, but she's not up to it now. So how about you? Why does she remind me of the, like, the rival? But the one comes up to me is like, Ah, oh, Batman, you can't go anywhere. Cause you're weak. You know, like, beating them both times so far. Okie dokie. There we go. Pain. Ah, okay. ah, fuck man. Alright, uh, FC. Tackle. Might as well finish over tackle, because let's be honest, I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be using Slash most of the time, so. Because it is just natural to finish off with a move that, you know, wouldn't one shot it anyway, so. They said they use Poison Sting that survives with like one health. And you're just like, really? And it doesn't poison either, so you're thinking, well, this is good. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Alright. Watch this kill us. Calling them out, quit. Oh. <laughs> yes. One HP. Oh, come on. And you had to copy me. God. Ditto much. Yeah, plot twist. This probably was actually Ditto. Dun dun dun. It's actually like a Zorok or something. It's like, wait a minute, Zorok can't learn bubble. It just turns out it's like some special like event Zorog that only got given to this guy and nobody else. And it was like never announced on public anything. Game Freak are actually gonna be distributing all the um like event Pokemon this year, like Darkrai, Mew, Arceus, of all things, you know. How much you want to bet it'll only be in Japan or like only in South Korea or something. That's why they always have like better teams than anyone else. Because they always get like all the Arceuses and she like Dark Ryan and all that, you think just thinking, wow, isn't this good? But the only way to get Arceus on Gen 4 is to use an action replay code to get the um, Azure Flint. Which I did. Because I just wanted an Arceus, so I had to use an AR code to get it, but oh well. Not worth it, I suppose. I mean, you can use Action Replay on Generation 4 and 5 as much as you want, because you can't really that online anymore, because they took down Nintendo Wi-Fi. This looks so out of place! <laughs> it's, it's like she, like, cut out some of Whitney's gym and just, like, threw it in here and was like, Yep, this is this works. This Pokemon keeps the seal at night, but it's something that's sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Shenwood. But that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Papalu. I, I don't remember that. I, I don't think that sounds like Papalu, do you? Uh, what is it, Yogi Bear or something? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. My bag is full. Oh well. No accuracy for me, like I wanted it anyway. Look at, look at that, is that supposed to be food? It's like, let's see, uh, three dots and uh, that thing, okay, yeah, sure. I suppose that's Pokemon food or something. <laughs> just like camping in here. Why don't you just set up a tent? I may be a while. <laughs> I, don't, I don't exactly get to, feel, get to like do a video every day, do I, so... Okay, don't go down there. Well, okay, never mind. How the hell do I get out? Right, I wonder if I have any escape ropes. I probably do. Yeah, I do, okay. That's the most useful one I've used yet. Alright. Yeah, I don't know that place very well. So I should get to the Pokemon to buy, like, two more escape ropes, because you never know I might need them. 
Bye. Uh, where's the escape ropes? Do you not sell them? Worst mat ever! I also need surf and I... Oh, my other one's hatching! <laughs> oh, right, let's see what this is. <gasps> That's a pubertar! Whoa, okay. Um... Uh, what the fuck? I might use this thing, actually. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, maybe. What do you call a, what do you call a type one attack, though? Oh, wait a minute, it's obvious. It's obvious what you call a T-tar, let's be honest. It doesn't all fit in, so you're just gonna have to shorten it, but yeah, that's what you call it. There we go! <laughs> Alright, that's... That, don't walk into the wall, but damn it. Like, if the, um, if the Red Gyarados isn't a, um, fire type, then that thing's going on my team. Wait, wait, I have a Pikachu? What did I get a Pikachu from? I don't remember catching a Pikachu. I really don't remember catching a Pikachu, but whatever. I, I really don't, I actually don't remember that, so... I know where I got it from, but whatever. I suppose I probably caused it, like, ages and ages ago, like, a bunch of episodes. I think maybe in, like, episode 2 or something I caught it, thinking I didn't have an electric type when I did. But sometimes I forget the secondary types, like, even the most obvious ones. I'm like, oh, I don't have a flying type, oh wait, is that dose? But I do that all the time. And every time I'm trying to tell people, like, oh, this is the team I use in the game, I also forget this one specific Pokemon all the time. Like, I keep forgetting I used a Krikatune on my, um, second playthrough of Diamond. It wasn't very good, though. Like, the only thing that Krikatune's got going for is that famous meme with the, um, cry. That's about it. It's not even my favourite cry. I'm not even sure what my favourite cry is. I mean, I like Torterra's cry. Torterra's cry is pretty cool. We need, of oh, course, like I said, we need to surf, and that's all the way over back in Aquatic City. Luckily, a character doesn't walk, like, Gen 4 speed or anything, so... Let's, uh, let's keep going. I think the, um, the Gen I played the least of is probably Gen 1. I played Gen 2 a lot. Like, also, also all sorts of methods. Uh, I've played Gen 3, like, randomizers and shit, loads of times. Generation 4, I've played that like three times now, well, naturally not, I've played that many more times than that. Generation 5, well, I just went into the mat. I played that, I suppose I played that quite a few times, but it's not like as many as you would have thought. Hello there. Like, I've played both, I've played white, and I've played black too. Oh, I have to, do I have to beat them up? Okay. Oh, then I'll fight them then. <laughs> This music though, isn't this? You gotta admit, that's some pretty good music right there. I love that music right there. Shame you only get to hear it once, because, like, imagine, the, imagine if you actually got to rebuttal these guys, no, like, double the song, that'd be great. Oh, that reminds me, yeah, they've got all the evolutions, haven't they? Of course. Yeah, alright. I fucks with this. Let's go. Slash. There we go. Right. It's funny how Pupita hatches out the egg. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it to be anything good. I was expecting like a, I don't know, like an eggly buff or something. But no well. Oh wow. Never mind. Gotta quit. On Hagon and Soul Silver, you don't actually fight these guys until much later in the game. I don't think you get to fight the. I don't think you actually get to fight these guys until. I think it's after the last gym or something. Because you have to go and fight them to actually start the Ho-Oh event, or Lugia, depending on which game you're playing. Like whether you're playing Hot Gold, Soul Silver, so that's how it works. Espeon. It's Mo. I'm also not keeping Matthew Life in against an Espeon. That would not be smart. Uh, let's go into Thunderbird, we might as well. I don't really have like anything good against this thing right now. I could have a Dark type or anything. Apparently, um, Psychic was actually immune to Bug in Generation 1, which is pretty cool, I suppose, but... Like, Psychic was the most overpowered, uh, um, overpowered type, and it still is quite powerful, so... I do like having a Psychic type sometimes, but most of the time I do like having Fighting types more, because... Well, Fighting types are awesome. Like, on my team, I generally like to have... Like, all the obvious types, like Flying, Fire, Water, and Electric. I don't use Grass types that much. 
But yeah, I like using ground types and fighting types whenever I get the chance though. I, I usually type, I usually, um, I usually have my Pokemon like, on my team, I have them have certain types according to like the gyms in Elite Fall of the region. Like the hell has a um, dark type Elite Four in this region. And I have four lands here that I can use against her. Uh, uh, it's Cowan, isn't it? Yeah, Cowan. I don't know which game it is, but there's also there's a guy who's like, you should try and win with Pokemon that are strong. Yeah, I think Cowan has something to say about that. I always like to use Pokemon that can actually take hits, though, that's the thing. And while... Some, most of the time, I actually do try to use my favourite Pokemon a lot, like, whenever I can get a style out, so I tend to use that sometimes. On, um, when I was playing White, though, I had, a un I had an Unpheasant, like, I was doing a randomizer with it on the DS, because you can... There's a randomizer code for the action replay there is, so... There is for most games. There isn't one for Diamond, but there's one for Platinum, High Gold, Soul Silver, White... Yeah, Black and White, and Black and White 2. Except Black and White 2 isn't as good because that one is kind of dodgy. On Black and White 2 what you have to do is um, you have to hold R for a random encounter and it lags like fuck and then afterwards you can get a normal a normal encounter afterwards that's randomised and you have to hold R to get another random Pokemon. It's, it's, I had to explain, it's much easier to show you know, if I ever show it because I might do a uh, White 2 playthrough in the future. You know, when I get like better stuff. Like I want to get a proper microphone one day. Then I don't sound silly. It's weird because I sound like this on YouTube, but like in real life, my voice is like kind of different. I suppose. I mean, it's not that different, but you know. Book catcher Stacy. All right. Jolteon. This is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Jolteon's my favorite evolution. I've used it before. It was powerful. Oh, sand attack failed. I wonder why. Why did that fail? Oh well, no, no complaints. No complaints, because evasion is bullshit. And we all know it. There, go away. Bug catcher Stacy. Ooh, you're good at Pokemon too. Yes, I am. Jealous. Alright. Hello there, buddy. Look at your eyes. That man's always with his Rhydon, says he wants a Pokemon that can surf and dance. Yeah, why the hell can Rhydon surf? It can land surf, but it's doubly weak to water. Like, why? Why can it learn surf? Like, I always confuse me how, like, Pokemon like Miltank and Taurus can learn surf. I have a surfing Taurus on Diamond. Like, a majority of my Pokemon on uh, Diamond are fly and surf, depending on what Pokemon can like, learn that move, so. Oh, that reminds me. I can teach Surf. Hang on a second. That is. I can teach Surf to Yobro. There we go. There, it pops up. Thank God I didn't delete confusion. I would have been super mad if I did that. There we go. Instead of Water Gun, now we have Surf. Let's take a quick walk back to Olivine. I'll heal my Pokemon just because I might need to. I'll go and stand at like the water's edge, or like I'll stand at the start of a beach in Olivine, and then I'll I'll end it off there. So, because I think that's a good place to end. I just finished off in this episode. I had just finished off all like the lighthouse and stuff. And I do a bit of grinding after the episode actually. So, as that's a fact, I might just save it. Like I might I might go heal and save it out on that route. Just that I just got out of because training needs to be done, and you know. And if I find a, if I find my Pokemon I like, then I'll just add it to the team, and then I'll show you next episode. I'll be like, I caught this off screen. I mean, people don't like it when uh, YouTubers catch Pokemon off screen, but if I find something I really want during grinding, you know, because um, I've seen a few Let's Plays where they find shinies off screen, and they're like, Hey, um, while I was grinding, I found this. And they're like, Show like a, I don't know, it's like a shiny snubble or something on the PC. So it's always cool when that happens. So. I mean, yeah, you've got no chance of it happening near enough, but, oh well, you never know. I mean, the Red Gyarados is always shiny, so maybe, maybe like the episode where I meet that thing, I'll just call it 100% shiny chance. But anyway, here we are. I'm going to end it off here, because I'm going to do some grinding. I really need to, because my Pokemon are getting kind of destroyed. Well, you know, not quite destroyed, but they're not really taking hits as well as I'd want them to. Also, um, I thought I might as well, I might as well show you this. 
Uh, most people know this already, but if you use... Where's Matty Wife? You don't have it. You don't have it. <laughs> okay, whoever has Cut, I don't know, but... You can use Cut on the glass and it'll disappear. You can do it in Gen 3 as well, I believe. I'm not sure, but it also works in Gen 1, obviously. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, in the next episode, I'll be like down on the beach, and I'll be like level 30 or so, 30 odd. I think maybe I'll go to 35 or something. I think that's a decent level. Uh, I'll probably use XP codes, but I don't want to be sat here for like three hours trying to grind up my Pokémon against like pidges and shit. So I'm gonna, just going to leave that off here. And obviously, like I said, in the next episode, we'll go down to Shanwood. I'll just make our way down there, and we'll we'll like beat the gym leader and stuff. And, that, and that's going to be it. Great. So we'll go. I'm going to save it there, actually, in state 10, just in case. That's the end of that one.